Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are continuing studying multiplication word problems. The first one, divide the blueberries, look Matthew, blueberries, ha, ah, into four groups. How many in each group? Now this looks like a division word problem, right? Because it says divide. But both division and multiplication have to do with groups, many groups of the same size. Okay, so that's why we actually can solve this by multiplication. We can use multiplication to solve it. And here are the blueberries. And you've seen those kind of pictures before in the multiplication lessons. We have rows and columns. And now it says to make or divide those into four groups. So I can do that. Is one group, and the second, third, and fourth. You can see five in each group, right? And the multiplication I would write is this. How many groups? Four groups. The total is what I would know beforehand. It's 20 in this case. And how many in each group is what it is asking, so I'm going to leave that empty for now. So 4 times some number equals 20. And then I solve it, okay, it's going to be 5. Here, a workbook costs $5. Oh, is it a math workbook, Matthew says? I don't know, Matthew. I don't know, but it could be. How many can the teacher buy with $30? Again, we're going to write a multiplication. In a multiplication, you have the total as your answer. And this teacher buys so many workbooks for so many dollars each. And the total cost, we already know, it's 30. And we know the cost of each, $5 each. And so how many workbooks? You can guess and check, you know, what number would go here? Four perhaps? Four times five? Five, 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 five would make 20. So that won't work. Five times five? It's six times five. So the answer is six workbooks. Let's write it here too. Isabel arranged 24 game pieces in rows of six. It doesn't have a question. So what could we ask? 24 game pieces. That's the total. Okay. In rows of six. And how many rows? Yeah, that's what we can ask. How many rows did she get? And I'm going to write the multiplication again. The total goes here, 24. And how many rows? How many in each row? There are six in each row. And so what goes here? Yep, it's going to be four times six. So four rows. A matching game has ten pairs of pictures. Again, no question. What could we ask? A matching game. You've played those, right? Ten pairs of pictures. How many pictures are there in total? How many in total? So we can multiply to find that because a pair means two, right? So this is ten times two equals twenty and we have solved how many pictures in total. Jack bought four packages of earthworms and spent sixteen dollars. What could we ask in this problem? He bought four packages of earthworms and he spent $16. So we could ask how much did one package cost or how much did each package cost? Let's write a multiplication because it has many things that each cost the same. We don't know how much each cost. We do know the total cost. And we do know how many he bought. Four packages times what number goes there? Aha, this is easy. Four dollars, right? Four times four dollars. So each package cost four dollars. And then lastly, we're gonna have a special guest. Giganta, come here. There you come. Just sit on my other shoulder and try not to fall down, okay? Giganto wanted to come. He's Matthew's cousin, by the way. Giganto wanted to come because he heard about that problem we had a few lessons back, where we had all these yummy sandwiches. So he wanted to get some too, I guess. 
So here we have a word problem giganta just for you. When I read it, giganta bought three chicken sandwiches for five dollars each, and one tuna sandwich for six dollars. And what's that? Why not a shrimp sandwich? Well, I guess I didn't know you like them best. Let's just solve this. Uh, what do we solve? Okay, it doesn't have a question again. What can we solve here? We can solve the total cost. Yeah. How much are you going to spend, Giganta, for all this eating? Three chicken sandwiches for $5 each. Each is there. So we multiply, right? Three sandwiches times $5 each. And one tuna sandwich for $6. So we don't need to multiply anymore. There's just one. So we just add, right? You could do this yourself, right? And then add $6. And now we get here. How much, Giganta? Ah, 15. 15 plus 6. And then we get $21. That's the cost. So, have a good appetite. We're all done with this lesson.